When you're selling on Amazon, there can be many instances where you want to customize and print the barcode labels, such as if you're handling the prepping and packaging yourself, or if you want to make the labels look nicer by changing the size, color, text, or font, or you want to add the country of origin or any safety warning to them to save some money. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do all of that yourself for free. All right, before we dive into that, I want to point out that if you're doing FBM, which stands for Fulfillment by Merchant, meaning you're doing all of the order fulfillment and shipping the products yourself to your customers, then you don't need to put the barcode labels on your products. Or if you're selling wholesale or arbitrage products, then those products will already have the UPC barcode on them, so you don't need to do anything either, but I'll talk more about this later on, why you shouldn't use the UPC barcode. Now, if you're doing FBA, which stands for Fulfillment by Amazon, which is where Amazon stores all of your inventory and handles all of the order fulfillment for you, then each one of your products needs to have a barcode label on it. So if you're going to customize and print the label yourself, it's important that you know what the Amazon barcode requirements are because if you do it wrong, Amazon will charge you fees and additional costs to fix them. You can see here that it says, Fulfillment by Amazon uses barcodes to identify and track inventory throughout the fulfillment process. Each item that you send to an Amazon fulfillment center requires a barcode. Now there's three types of barcodes that you can use. There's the manufacturer barcode, which is the UPC barcode, the Amazon barcode, which is also referred to as the FNSKU or FNSKU, and the transparency barcode. Now, the two main barcodes we're going to focus on is the manufacturer barcode and the Amazon barcode. Basically, if you're selling wholesale or arbitrage products, then those items will already have the manufacturer's barcode on each item. This is the UPC barcode. UPC stands for Universal Product Code, and it's the barcode that gets scanned at the checkout counter when you buy stuff at the store. It's what identifies the product that you're buying. However, if you're selling private label products, then your products won't have a barcode, so you're going to have to buy a UPC barcode for them. The reason why you need to buy a UPC barcode is because basically, every product that is sold worldwide needs to have its own unique UPC barcode so that it can be tracked in stores. No two products worldwide will ever have the same UPC barcode. Now, the Amazon barcode, also called the FN SKU, stands for Fulfillment Network Stock Keeping Unit. And Amazon also uses this barcode to track inventory at Amazon's warehouses. However, unlike the UPC barcode that's recognized worldwide, the FN SKU only works within Amazon. So it isn't recognized outside of Amazon's ecosystem. Now, when you're sending your inventory to Amazon to do FBA, Amazon requires your products to have one of these barcodes on them so that it can be tracked. You cannot have more than one barcode on your products. This is very important. Each unit must have an exterior scannable barcode or label and remove, cover, or render unscannable any existing scannable barcodes on the outside of shipping boxes. For example, cover existing barcodes with opaque tape or use a black felt tip marker to render the barcode unscannable. This prevents the incorrect barcode from being accidentally scanned during the receiving process. Now, it's important that you follow Amazon's labeling requirements precisely Otherwise, Amazon will charge you fees to fix them. Okay, so now that you understand what the different barcode types are and what Amazon requires, which barcode do you put on your products? What I suggest is, regardless of whether your product already has the manufacturer UPC barcode on it or not, always put the Amazon barcode or the FN SKU on it. The reason is because if you use the manufacturer's barcode, your products will get commingled with other sellers' items and because you can't guarantee the quality or the condition of the other seller's items that they send in, you risk getting bad reviews. Whereas if you use the FN SKU, the items that you send in will be kept separate from all the other sellers. Make sense? Now, if you want to learn more about barcodes, I do have an in-depth video that goes into detail on this, including how many barcodes you need to buy and where to buy them. And I'll leave a link to that video down in the description below. So with that said, where do you get the FN SKU? Well, in order to get the FN SKU, you first need to create a product listing. So if you haven't done that yet, you'll need to do that first. And once you've created the product listing, the FN SKU is automatically assigned. However, in order to create a new product listing, you do need to buy a UPC barcode. Now, this is very important. Amazon requires you to buy official GS1 barcodes. Do not try to save money by buying cheap barcodes from third-party websites. 
Using non-GS1 barcodes can get your listing shut down. You can see here that it says, we verify the authenticity of product UPCs by checking the GS1 database. UPCs that do not match the information provided by GS1 will be considered invalid. Obtain your UPCs directly from GS1 and not from other third parties selling UPC licenses to ensure the appropriate information is reflected in the GS1 database. And you can see that it also says here, all invalid product UPC listings will be removed and may result in your ASIN creation or selling privileges being temporarily or permanently removed. All right, so you can buy GS1 barcodes by going to gs1us.org. This is where you can find them at the best price. Now, you don't have to buy them from the GS1 website in your home country because UPC barcodes are recognized worldwide. You can see on the GS1 US website, barcodes only cost $30 each, and you only need to buy one UPC barcode for each product. So it doesn't matter if you have one item or a thousand of the same item, you only need one UPC barcode for that product. If you have two different products, then you'll need to buy two UPC barcodes, one for each product. And because the price is so affordable, I don't suggest applying for what's called a GTIN exemption. It's simply not worth the trouble and hassle. They constantly expire and need to be updated. So I'll leave a link to the GS1 website down in the description below. Now, there's a couple of ways for you to download the FN SKU. The first way is on the Manage Inventory page in Seller Central. If you click on the drop-down menu, you can see that it says Print Item Labels. If you don't see this option, then what that means is you didn't choose the Fulfillment by Amazon option when you created the product listing. So in this case, you'll see the option Change to Fulfilled by Amazon like you can see here. In this case, just click on Change to Fulfilled by Amazon and make sure to choose the Amazon barcode and the barcode type so that you're using the FN SKU and not the manufacturer barcode. Now, back on the drop-down menu, you'll now see the print item labels option. If, however, the option isn't there, you may need to wait 15 minutes for the listing to update. Now, once you click on print, you can choose different barcode sizes from the drop-down menu. For example, the default here is 24 and a half by 48.5 millimeters. And if you save it as a PDF, you can see that it looks like this. If you don't like this size, you can always choose a different option. For example, if we choose this option, you can see that the barcode looks different. So pick one that you like or suits your package design. Now, if it's not perfect, that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to customize this so it doesn't really matter which option you choose. Okay, so another way you can print the FN SKU label is while you're creating a shipping plan. On the very first step, you can print the FN SKU by clicking on the print SKU labels link here. And again, you'll be able to choose the label size here and set the number of labels to one and save it as a PDF. If you've already created a shipping plan, you can also print the FN SKU from your shipping queue. From the menu, click on inventory, shipments, click on the shipping plan, then click on the send to Amazon link here. Then in step 1B, click on view, view contents, then click on print labels. However, the easiest way though is to just print them from the manage inventory page. And a pro tip, the FN SKU barcode is never going to change for the lifetime of the product. So it doesn't matter when you print it or where you print it from, the FN SKU barcode is always going to be the same. All right, so once you've downloaded the barcode, you can see that it has the barcode itself, the FN SKU number under it, the title of your product, and the condition. Take notice that the FN SKU in this case starts with an X0. This means that my product is using the Amazon barcode. If you see that your FN SKU starts with a B0, this number is your product's ASIN, then your items will not be kept separate from all the other sellers. It will get commingled. So to change this, make sure you set the barcode type to the Amazon barcode. You can do that by changing the default setting on your seller account to always use the Amazon barcode. Go to settings, Fulfillment by Amazon, scroll down to FBA Product Barcode Preference, click on Edit, and set the option to Amazon Barcode, and click Update. Now, if you've already set this default option and the barcode still starts with a B0, then on your Manage Inventory page, in the drop-down menu, click on Add Another Condition, set all the fields here to the same as you had before when you first created the listing, and down in the Fulfillment Channel option, choose Amazon will ship and provide customer service. And after you've saved it, download the item labels again, and the number should now start with an X0. Okay, so how do you edit or customize the barcode label? 
Well, obviously you can always hire someone to do it from websites like fiverr.com, or if you have Photoshop or Illustrator skills, you can use that too, but I'm gonna show you how you can do it for free using Canva. Just sign up for a free account and follow along. Okay, so once you're in Canva, click on create a design and choose create a new poster. Now it's important that you choose create a new poster, otherwise the units will be in pixels and we need them to be in inches. That way we can size our barcode design to fit our sticker label or package design. Now we need to import the FNC label that we downloaded. Because we can't directly import a PDF on Canva, the easiest way is to open the PDF we downloaded from Amazon and take a screenshot of it and save it as a PNG or JPEG. If you're on a Mac, press the Command Shift 4 keys at the same time, then drag a box around the barcode and save it. Now, if you're on a PC, then you can use the snipping tool to do the same thing. Once you've done that, back on Canva, click on Uploads, then click on Upload Files and select the screenshot. Now, click and drag the barcode onto the canvas. Then we can grab the handles on the box here to resize the barcode to whatever size we want. You can see that when I click and drag it, it shows the width and height of the barcode, and you can use this tool to make the barcode the exact size that you need. So if the barcode needs to be a specific size to fit on a sticker label or in your package design, you can set the size easily. For example, let's make it one and a half inches wide. Now, if it's too small to see, you can always zoom in on it here. Okay, so what can we do to customize the barcode? Well, if you're OCD like me, I wanna make it look perfect. Now, on your label, you may notice that the title that you see here doesn't match the title that you have on your listing. Now, I'm not quite sure why this happens, but the title it shows on the label is usually whatever the title was when you first created the listing. And so if you change the title, it doesn't always update the title on the label. But that's okay though. You can edit this and make the title how you want it. So to get rid of the current title, grab the handle on the box and crop off the title and the condition. Now, click on the text option here and then the add a little bit of body text option. And let's say we want the title to say Acme Stainless Steel Can Opener or whatever your brand name is. Then we can resize it so that it all fits on one line. And let's actually choose a different font. I like this one much better. And move and resize it so it fits nicely under the barcode. Okay, and because I'm OCD, I also want the FN SKU to match the new font. So let's click on text again and choose this body text option and type in the FN SKU. X028MJV63. Choose the same font as before and let's make it bold. Now crop the old FN SKU out like this and move the new FN SKU in place like so and make sure it's centered. Now let's add the condition back. To make things easier, I'm just gonna duplicate the FN SKU here, change it to say new, and move it over here. And there you go, we have a much nicer looking barcode label. Now, what you can do is select everything here and click on the group button. This groups everything together so you can easily resize it if you need to. Now, one way to save some money, instead of having to buy separate labels, what you can do is add the country of origin and any safety warnings onto the same label as the barcode. These are required by the federal government, not Amazon. As you can see here, if you're importing your products into the US, every article of foreign origin entering the United States must be legibly marked with the English name of the country of origin. And for poly bags, poly bags with a five inch opening or larger measured when flat, must have a suffocation warning either printed on the bag or attached as a label. So for example, if we take a look on Google, we can see some examples of labels with the country of origin and warnings on them like you can see here. Like these ones have made in China on them. And for the poly bag warnings, you can actually buy poly bags that already have the warning printed on them. But if you don't, you can add the warning as a sticker label like you can see here. Okay, so let's add these to our label. Click on text and on body text again. Type in made in China or wherever your product is manufactured. Choose a font. And I think this one looks best if we resize and put it on top of the barcode here. And you can see that it automatically snaps to the center and aligns itself. All right, now let's add the suffocation warning. So first let's take a look on Google for an example. So we can see that in this example, the warning has this icon and then the warning text next to it. And so I like this, so let's copy this. So first let's find the icon. Let's do a search for warning icon and let's find the one that I like. 
like this one here. Save it to the computer. Now let's go back to Canva and click on uploads, upload media, choose the icon that we just downloaded and drag it onto the canvas. Now let's resize it and move it over here for now. Now let's add the warning text. Click on text, body text again. Okay, so warning. Let's actually bold it and resize it to fit next to the icon here. Now let's add the actual warning message. Keep away from small children. Now I don't want the center aligned, so let's change that here so that it's left aligned. And let's resize it and move it over here. Okay, and so that looks pretty good, right? Again, you can group all of this together like this and then resize it if you need to. Now, once you're done, you can download it by clicking on share, download, then download and save it as a PNG, or you can change it to a different file type here. Now, if we open up the file we just downloaded, you can see the final barcode label. Pretty cool, right? Now you can email this to your supplier and they can print it onto the sticker labels and put it on your products. Or if you have a package designer, they can place it into the package design template to have printed directly onto the packaging. However, if you plan to print it yourself, it's actually pretty easy to do. You don't need a thermal printer or anything special. All you need to do is buy pre-made sticker labels. Avery makes a ton of different label sizes for you to choose from, like you can see here. So choose a label size that you want to use and design your barcode to fit that label size. Then you can use Avery's free online label printing software to print the labels at home. I'll leave a link to the software down in the description below. To use it, all you need to do is sign up on Avery's website. It's free. And once you're logged in, choose the label that you want to use from the list. So for example, let's say you want to use this one here. We want a blank label, so select the blank template here. Now click on image on the left, add image, then choose the file that we saved from Canva. Then using the handles, you can resize the barcode to fit on the label. And once you've placed it how you want it, click on preview and print. And that's it. Stick the label sheets into your printer and you now have new customized barcode labels. And here's a pro tip. Make sure the barcode you created actually works. Print out your final design and then open up the Amazon app on your phone. And in the search bar, click on the camera icon. Choose barcode at the bottom and try scanning the barcode. If the app recognizes the barcode, then you're good to go. However, if it doesn't see a barcode there, then the barcode in your design is either too blurry or too small or it's formatted incorrectly. But be aware that if the app does recognize it as a barcode, it may not actually do anything or link anywhere because your product isn't available for sale yet in the Amazon marketplace. The point of doing this is to just verify that the barcode is recognizable. Make sense? Now again, if you don't want to label the products yourself, you can have Amazon do it for you, but Amazon will charge you a 55 cent per unit fee. It's almost always going to be cheaper to have your supplier do it for you. They may actually do it for free or for just a few pennies each. And another option is to buy pre-made made in China and suffocation warning labels. In fact, you can buy them directly from Amazon. Just do a search for a suffocation warning label or made in China label. And you can see they come in rolls like these. And another pro tip here to save some money. If you plan to sell your products on Amazon and in brick and mortar stores, then what I suggest is printing the UPC barcode directly onto the package design. Then for the units that you are sending to Amazon, cover the UPC barcode with the Amazon FN SKU barcode label sticker. That way you don't have to have two different package designs or two different barcode labels, one for products going to Amazon and another for products that are going to the retail stores. Now we just covered one small part of prepping your products. And this video right over here will show you how to properly prep, package and apply all of the other required labels for selling on Amazon.